نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم أما بعد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم has emphasized that we should go and attend the congregational prayer in the masjid especially if we live next to the masjid or close to the masjid so within 40 houses radius if someone is far away and they cannot hear the adhan if the adhan were to be called from the top of the masjid then there may be a leeway if they have any excuse now if someone were to miss the jama'ah is it permissible or not so there are two different things number one to pray in jama'ah is fard in Hanbali school and wajib in Hanafi school so practically is must in both of those schools means that prayer would not be valid if not done with congregation with jama'ah even if it means that one does the jama'ah with the family with the wife with the child or any other one mahram and maybe extra non-mahram women so there has to be a congregation at home or in masjid now the second point is does it have to be in the masjid now according to majority just sunnah mu'akkada to attend masjid especially with rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam's stern warnings especially for those who live live very close to the masjid that i feel like sending someone this is the word to the effects of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi that I feel like asking someone to call out Adhan and then ask someone else to lead the prayer on my behalf and then I would go out with burning logs in my hand with the wood fire at the end and then I burn those houses to those who do not come out of their houses even after hearing the Adhan and this is quite stern especially when you know Rasulullah is very gentle very kind there was a blind companion he came to Rasulullah asking that in Fajr it gets a bit tricky because I do not find many people helping me out, so I have to come on my own. Do I have to come to the masjid for prayer? Rasulullah said, okay, you can pray at home. And he, as he turned around, I was about to leave the masjid, Rasulullah called him back and said, Oh, Furan, do you hear Adhan? He said, yes. Then Rasulullah said, you must come to the masjid. Jibril just confirmed that to me. Means there was some suggestion that for someone who is blind, who has got other illnesses, which does not stop him from coming to the masjid, even if it makes it a little bit hard, and they live close by, very close, walking distance, they should enter masjid. They should come to the masjid. Now, coming to your question, in the current situation, masjids are bit more limited with the number of people they can allow at one time due to standard operation policies which is obviously an important consideration but they would let perhaps maybe 50 60 people at one time so should we go to the masjid and shouldn't we so i would put it to you then inshallah ta'ala, there may be an excuse if you were to go to the masjid and they ask you to stay outside and wait for the second jama'ah or go home you can't join in then just come home and don't worry about that then inshallah you have done your best if they say the second jama'ah and you have time to do and attend that one alhamdulillah if you don't you can come home inshallah then you have done your bit you have actually set out to the masjid you have taken some steps for where each step would raise your elevate, uh, status uh, elevate your status each step would give you some extra reward each step would 
remove some of the things from you. Just work and try. We should do that and then come home if we do not get any space there without feeling bad about it. Obviously, bad in the sense that oh, I wish I could do it. But then it's fine. Then, inshallah, Allah, there will be a lot of blessing and barakah. And the nafs would never be used to, would not get used to of missing out jama'ah on a regular basis. Otherwise, even when this lockdown gets opened up, our nafs would not let us go to the masjid. Because now I'm too used to of praying at home. Let me just do it. Oh, I'm just delayed. Oh, sorry, I missed it. Let me just carry on. Then masjid would become somewhat deserted and would feel uncomfortable going there or maybe a bit more laxy. So we shouldn't be even thinking of doing that. So if you can't do three, four times a day, five times a day, at least do once or twice as much as possible without putting yourself in uh, too much stress. May Allah give us tawfiq to understand the wisdoms and get a lot of blessings thereby. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.